Welcome, everybody. The NFL season is over, which means it's time to look ahead to the NFL offseason, and that includes 2023 NFL mock drafts. Today, we're going to be looking at the Atlanta Falcons and their 2023 NFL mock draft. All right, as mentioned, we're going to be looking at the Atlanta Falcons and their 2023 NFL mock draft. We're going to be using the NFL mock draft database simulator. Uh, this is mostly because the players they have in the draft are actually in the draft. The ones that are going back to college are not in this mock draft. Uh, there will be players who slide, maybe the most realistic thing going on, but we're still before free agency, so this is just an exercise to see what is maybe possible, and we'll see if things change along the lines there. We're going to be declining all trades as we go through here. Uh, this goes for all mock draft simulators. It's just not many realistic trades being done in some of these simulators, and just best to decline them and just kind of give a real – a real look at what might happen in the 2023 NFL Draft. All right, so let's get it started. The Falcons uh, missed the playoffs last year. Desmond Ritter was the rookie quarterback at the end of the season after they they moved on from Marcus Mariota. Uh, they have some weapons. They have Drake London. They have Kyle Pitts. The defense still needs a lot of work, and we'll see what we can do here. They have pick number eight in the first round, and we'll see what we can get going. All right, looks like we have uh, some guys who will not be on the board. Bryce Young and Will Levis will probably both be gone. It is worth considering if Bryce Young is still there that maybe you take Bryce Young <laughs> instead of Desmond Ritter. Uh, I think Desmond Ritter likely gets this year to figure things out, but if Bryce Young's there, that's definitely definitely a consideration to take him and make him your starting quarterback for the future as Ritter was a uh, as a guy who fell in the draft last year. He wasn't a first-round pick, and... Um, you know, showed some potential this year, but I think if you had a, a chance at a blue chip quarterback like Bryce Young, I think you would take him. Uh, there's still some other guys who are very interesting on this board. Uh, I think you have to kind of think about defense here. Uh, if you ask me, you could go a different, another weapon for, for your quarterback, but you've spent a lot of draft capital on Kyle Pitts and Drake London the last couple of years. Uh, so let's go Joey Porter Jr., the only cornerback that's really in the range here. Uh, physical corner, just like his dad played linebacker, he's a physical corner. Uh, this is a guy that can slide in across from A.J. Terrell uh, and be successful down the stretch for the Falcons, I think, in the next several years. You get some good corners in, in your secondary, and I think you can find some success uh, later on. All right, so... As mentioned, the Falcons need a lot of defense. Uh, let's go. Let's go with Keon White here. He's a, a local guy to Georgia Tech. There uh, had a really good Senior Bowl. A guy who's really risen up draft boards. One of the bright spots on Georgia Tech's whole team. A guy who can help get after the quarterback. The Falcons need to do that as well as have good corner play next year. So you kind of get two of your bigger needs off the board here, uh, as you can see in the team needs section over here. Uh, still a lot, a lot to figure out though. Uh, they do have Grady Jarrett on the interior, but let's go Kalaja Kansi. He is very quick off the snap. He's a guy who's rising up mock drafts very, very quickly. Uh, a guy I think that has some potential. Um, you know, we see some of these guys who can get off the snap very quickly go higher as the draft comes around. People like that burst and initial energy. And you pair him with Grady Jarrett, and then you also get your edge rusher and Keon White, and you have a pretty good solid thing going for next year. Uh, let's keep on moving down the mock draft, though. We're at pick 110 here. We've got a corner already. We've got an edge rusher. We've got a D lineman. Uh, let's go Let's go with J.L. Skinner, the safety out of Boise State, a guy who's been on, kind of on the radar for a couple of years now. And, again, the Falcons need help all over on this defense. There is a point where they'll probably go with another weapon for, for Desmond Ritter this year. Uh, so let's see what we can get uh, for him maybe going here. So let's see. Parker Washington made some highlight real catches. At uh, Penn State, he's a guy uh, who could be uh, a pick here. They got Ty J. Spears and Tank Bigsby. I mean, you found you found Tyler Algier last year, so I don't think you go running back. Uh, I think that's something that they they might pass on. So let's go with Parker Washington, the wide receiver out of Penn State. As mentioned, make some highlight reel catches. I think he's capable of having a better pro career. He's probably never going to be a number one, but you have Drake London, you have Kyle Pitts. This might open up the offense. I know the Falcons like to run the ball a lot, but Having more weapons on the outside can make even the running game end up being a little bit better. All right, so we're going to keep on going here. Uh, let's go with uh, at this pick here. It would be nice to get some linebacker help. I know some of their linebackers are free agents. So let's go, let's go Ivan Pace Jr. He's really good at getting after the quarterback on blitzes. He's a guy who went to Miami, Ohio for a couple of years, then transferred to Cincinnati and had crazy production for the Bearcats this past year. Uh, a guy that I think could compete for a roster spot, maybe give you some depth at linebacker and maybe develop into a starter. Uh, that remains to be seen, but that is that would be a solid pick there uh, for the Falcons. 
All right, so it would be nice to get some some offensive line depth here, especially. Uh, don't see many who are in the range right now. That could be a little bit of a problem. Uh, might be worth doubling down on one of these positions where there are a lot of guys who are available. So uh, at pick number 226, there's plenty of value here according to this simulator. Let's go with D. Winters. He was a good player on that TCU defense that made it to the national championship game, made some key plays for them. Uh, they run that 3-3-5 that three, three, front, and his linebacker, you know, his linebacker role was was a little bit different than some other linebackers, but he could be very successful. Uh, it's it's not a weird thing to say that he could probably make the roster next year for the Falcons. And that leaves us with the last pick, a pick number 247. Uh, let's see what we got here. You know, Mo Ibrahim was a good, successful running back over, I think, six years at Minnesota. Uh, some more defensive linemen, Max Duggan, if you want to try to get another quarterback in there. Malik Cunningham's a guy I think could end up being a – a good backup for a couple for a couple of years for a team. He's a guy who can kind of create by himself. But let's go with Juice Scruggs, a guy who has one of the coolest names in all the 2023 NFL draft. You get some interior line depth. I know that's an area that has presented problems in the past and played a little better last year, uh, but at least you kind of address that there. So we'll, we'll recap it here. Joey Porter Jr. at number eight. Maybe a slight reach there. I mean, there, there was... Obviously not the most realistic expectations at the top when Bryce Young ends up falling and Will Levis ends up falling, and that's just probably not going to happen unless something crazy comes up in the pre-draft process. Uh, but there might be some other corners, you know, Christian Gonzalez, Devin Witherspoon, that might be guys they would take, or maybe an edge rusher. Uh, second round, they get the edge rusher, Keon White. Again, senior bowl, really, really good. Uh, Kalijah Kansi, his ability to get off the line of scrimmage is really, really good, so... A guy that you can pair next to Grady Jarrett and maybe really improve this defense, J.L. Skinner, a guy who's been on the radar for a couple of years, Parker Washington, uh, the wide receiver who could maybe be number two or a number three for Atlanta moving forward. Ivan Pace and D. Winters as linebacker guys who maybe play special teams, maybe provide depth um, before developing into starters. And Juice Scruggs, uh, a guy, again, really cool name, could provide some depth. We'll see if he turns into anything down the road. All right, it's my turn to remind everyone to like and subscribe if you like this mock draft. We'll be back with more mock drafts heading into the NFL offseason here. For now, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.